difficult spots. You can see here, um, this time I took off the scales to do the part in the middle and also do the underside uh, to knock those edges down, not quite as much. The reason I did that is because I believe that when you uh, sand all the edges, it sort of gets rid of stress risers and just makes everything tough. Uh, I think I did the holes with some 120 grit at one time, just barely, so you could barely see it. Well, you know, it's, it's a rough hole, and I use all that to my advantage. You know, if there's friction in there or something holding or kinking up against the um, book screws, as long as there's a close fit, it just helps keep everything tight. My handles haven't loosened up at all yet. This is a different angle. You can see a little bit of um, sort of chipped looking wood in that hole in the foreground. Here it is. Uh, I put the scales on here. You can see the um, a little bit of the, the bit is sticking out and there's a bit of extra wood you, on the, the butt of the handle. I did that for several reasons. I'm going to just keep developing the handles, but uh, maybe put a, a piece of brass in there or a lanyard through it or both. I also like the wood because you can use it for tinder. You know, the, the front edges of the, the bit is essentially, you know, they're half an inch or so off of the, the edge on mine. So that's a lot of fire starter. You can see the book screws where the edge of the Thomas spike is pointing right towards the females and the males are sticking out of that unfinished front, which you can see uh, the sharp edges that haven't been knocked down yet. There we go, a close look at the knife. It's really comfy in hand. You can see it has sort of a two-dimensional uh, interpretation of those great Luco uh, Scandinavian handles, which I like so much. I think with a, a metal butt cap on that handle, it look even better. If you do it, make sure and show me. I love seeing what you guys do. Now, uh, you can see the edges are now knocked down on the front. I'm just showing you the females going through there. Um, I've talked a bit on, out in the forums on what size they are, these are. I can't really remember off the top of my head, but I will get you the right ones if you're using quarter inch stock. There it is, all finished. Just a great tool. I screw mine together on both sides because the um, kit that the EcoHawk comes with standard has a saw in it that you can unscrew with. So you know, you're not going, well, you know what? How do you undo the knife if the knife is the screwdriver and all that? Yeah. You expect it to be a thinking man if you buy one of my tools. So if you can't figure it out, maybe you should stay at home. Just a gentle suggestion, not meaning to insult.